Good night. May God and the heavens guard you. Today I have a word from God for your life, and when I finish delivering it to you, I know you will say, Truly, this word is for my life. So, get ready for the Almighty God to visit your life in this moment, because we are going to create a powerful prayer chain right now. And when there is prayer on earth, the heavens begin to move, and that's what will happen for your life, in your life, in this moment of prayer. The very word of God says, those who seek, find. In this moment, we are going to seek the power of God for all areas of your life, and you can be sure, He will bring about a great move in all your ways. Sovereign God, Eternal Father. We enter your presence in this moment, as we are praying, I know your spirit begins to work. Your word says that in the beginning, the Lord created the heavens and the earth, the earth was formless and empty, and your spirit hovered over the waters. Then, the Lord said, Let there be light, and there was light. In this prayer moment, Father, I ask that you also come to illuminate all areas of this person's life, all areas that are in darkness, all areas that are troubled, all areas where the enemy is rising up. May powerful angels descend from heaven in this moment, to fight for this life, to bring forth the miracle, to bring forth victory. In this prayer moment, in this moment of seeking, I declare that miracles will happen, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in whom I trust. Surely He will save you from the fowler's snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with His feathers, and under His wings you will find refuge, His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. You will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. If you say, The Lord is my refuge, and you make the Most High your dwelling. No harm will overtake you, no disaster will come near your tent. For He will command His angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. They will lift you up in their hands, so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. You will tread on the lion and the cobra, you will trample the great lion and the serpent. Because He loves me, says the Lord, I will rescue him, I will protect him, for he acknowledges my name. He will call on me, and I will answer him, I will be with him in trouble, I will deliver him and honor him. With long life I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. My God, while we are in this purpose of prayer, may this person be visited, in their body, in their mind, in their emotions, and everything that is wounded within them, may your spirit begin to heal may your spirit begin to liberate. Touch this person with your power, Father. Lord, heal now those who are sick, keep touching them with your anointing of miracles, with your anointing of power, pulling out, my Father, the diseases that to human eyes have no cure. In the face of medicine, they have no cure. Because your word says that what is impossible for humans is possible for you. For you are the doctor of doctors. You are Jehovah Rapha, that's why now I ask of you, touch this life, Father, and start pulling out all physical and spiritual illnesses. In this moment, I command in prayer that all physical and spiritual illnesses fall to the ground, in the name of the Lord Jesus. I lift up my eyes to the mountains, where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the Maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot slip, he who watches over you will not slumber. Indeed, he who watches over Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord watches over you, the Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun will not harm you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all harm, he will watch over your life. 
The Lord will watch over your coming and going both now and forevermore. May the strength of the Lord my Father come upon this person's life. In this moment of prayer, on bended knees, I want to ask the Lord my Father for His presence to come down and defeat every enemy that has risen against this person, because your word says in Psalm 27 that when enemies rise up, they are the ones who stumble and fall. My God, let your word be fulfilled, do not let your child stumble or fall. On the contrary, it is the enemy who will fall, it is the problems that will fall. For the blessing of the Lord is present in this moment. Guide the steps of this person, guide their plans, perform the miracles of the Lord in their life. The Lord is my light and my salvation, whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life, of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked advance against me, to devour me, it is my enemies and my foes, who will stumble and fall. Though an army besiege me, my heart will not fear. Though war break out against me, even then I will be confident. One thing I ask from the Lord, this only do I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord, all the days of my life, to gaze on the beauty of the Lord and to seek Him in His temple. For in the day of trouble, He will keep me safe in His dwelling, He will hide me in the shelter of His sacred tent, and set me high upon a rock. Then my head will be exalted, above the enemies who surround me. At His sacred tent I will sacrifice with shouts of joy, I will sing and make music to the Lord. Hear my voice when I call, Lord, be merciful to me and answer me. My heart says of you, Seek his face, your face, Lord, I will seek. Do not hide your face from me, do not turn your servant away in anger, you have been my helper. Do not reject me or forsake me, God my Savior. Though my father and mother forsake me, the Lord will receive me. Teach me your way, Lord, lead me in a straight path, because of my oppressors. Do not turn me over to the desire of my foes, for false witnesses rise up against me, spouting malicious accusations. I remain confident of this, I will see the goodness of the Lord, in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord, be strong and take heart and wait for the Lord. My God, there are people now, listening and taking hold of this prayer. For their life is sinking, in troubles, tribulations. Financial life is sinking, health is sinking, sinking in sadness, depression, anguish, addictions, but your word says in Psalm 40, you have set my feet upon a rock, I know that your word says that the Lord represents this rock. Those who are in the Lord, do not fall, those who are in the Lord, do not sink. Do not allow, Lord, this person to sink into problems. But may this person be confident in your word, in your promises, Father. Because it is your promises that will bring victory to this person. As you listen to this prayer, God begins to work in your life. Because you are surrendering yourself to Him. Giving your heart to Him. Those who saw you crying, those who saw you passing through the desert, those who saw you passing through the valley, will see you sharing testimonies, will see you sharing miracles, they will see how God was faithful in your life, they will see the joy of God on your face. You will have a great testimony to share. And the name of the Lord will be glorified through your life. I waited patiently for the Lord, He turned to me and heard my cry. He lifted me out of the slimy pit, out of the mud and mire, He set my feet on a rock and gave me a firm place to stand. He put a new song in my mouth, a hymn of praise to our God. Many will see and fear the Lord and put their trust in Him. Blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord, who does not look to the proud, to those who turn aside to false gods. Many, Lord my God, are the wonders you have done, the things you planned for us. None can compare with you, were I to speak and tell of your deeds, they would be too many to declare. Sacrifice and offering you did not desire, but my ears you have opened, burnt offerings and sin offerings you did not require. Then I said, 
Here I am, I have come, it is written about me in the scroll. I desire to do your will, my God, your law is within my heart. I proclaim your saving acts in the great assembly, I do not seal my lips, Lord, as you know. I do not hide your righteousness in my heart, I speak of your faithfulness and your saving help. I do not conceal your love and your faithfulness from the great assembly. Do not withhold your mercy from me, Lord, may your love and faithfulness always protect me. For troubles without number surround me, my sins have overtaken me, and I cannot see. They are more than the hairs of my head, and my heart fails within me. Be pleased to save me, Lord, come quickly, Lord, to help me. May all who want to take my life be put to shame and confusion, may all who desire my ruin be turned back in disgrace. May those who say to me, Aha! Be appalled at their own shame. But may all who seek you rejoice and be glad in you, may those who long for your saving help always say, The Lord is great. But as for me, I am poor and needy, may the Lord think of me. You are my help and my deliverer, you are my God, do not delay. My God, there are people now, listening and taking hold of this prayer. For their life is sinking, in troubles, tribulations. Financial life is sinking, health is sinking, sinking in sadness, depression, anguish, addictions, but your word says in Psalm 40, you have set my feet upon a rock, I know that your word says that the Lord represents this rock. Those who are in the Lord, do not fall, those who are in the Lord, do not sink. Do not allow, Lord, this person to sink into problems. But may this person be confident in your word, in your promises, Father. Because it is your promises that will bring victory to this person. As you listen to this prayer, God begins to work in your life. Because you are surrendering yourself to Him. Giving your heart to Him. Those who saw you crying, those who saw you passing through the desert, those who saw you passing through the valley, will see you sharing testimonies, will see you sharing miracles, they will see how God was faithful in your life, they will see the joy of God on your face. You will have a great testimony to share. And the name of the Lord will be glorified through your life. I want to declare that the time of joy is coming for this person. This prayer has not reached you in vain. Everything that happens, the Lord does or allows. It was by the action of the Lord that this prayer reached you at this moment. Restore peace in this heart, Father, take away all anxiety, take away all desperation, all anguish, all fear. Refresh this soul. God says, Calm your heart, for I am with you, and I am working in your life. I am the God who rescued Daniel from the lion's den, I am the God who rescues your life, I am the God who has kept you, I am the God who has strengthened you, I am the God who has sustained you with my mighty hand. Alleluia. As I pray, the word that God brings to me is restoration. God is bringing a time of restoration in your life, I see God bringing back what was lost, I see God returning what was stolen, God bringing back what was taken from your life. With all my faith, with all my confidence, on bended knees, I declare victory over this life. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. I surrender your life, I surrender your home, I surrender your family, I surrender your health, your finances, I surrender your projects, I surrender your future, I surrender your happiness, into the hands of Almighty God. Now receive and claim victory for yourself. Say, I receive. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory to God.